Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. Today I'm actually back with a community lot. I am building a cafe and bookstore combined lot in the downtown area of Windenburg and we're building this in the snow. I really wanted to have like a snowy sort of Christmas themed cafe that could also be a bookshop and I just thought it would be a really cozy space for your sims to visit grab a coffee or a hot cocoa, read something, and just relax uh, with the beautiful vibes of this area of Windenburg, which I don't build in very often. This is the Quad Manor lot. I believe there's normally a library here, uh, so I guess it's not too <laughs> different of a lot because I have this as a bookstore and a cafe. I believe I set it as a cafe, though, for the purposes of this build, but you could go ahead and set it as a retail lot if you would prefer to sell things here. Uh, but I thought the idea made more sense to have it functioning with like a barista and all of that to have this set as a cafe. Anyway, right now I'm working on the shape. I really wanted this to kind of look like a house converted into something with the vibe of like the downstairs being a bump out with big windows and most of the space being brick, but for some reason, I see a lot of references where this sort of shop, the downstairs is like a black wall with big rounded windows. So I was trying to replicate that in The Sims and I think it came out okay. I'm really, really happy with how this build did come out. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to play with. And uh, if you would like to play with it for yourself, if you'd like to download this build, it will be available on The Sims 4 Gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffey and that information will also be in the description down below as well. So just figuring out some more of the roofing here, I decided to have a couple of dormers over on this side to make the shape look a little bit more interesting. And that is going to be the side where I have the entrance to the bookstore. Uh, the entrance I already have with the black doors and windows is to the cafe portion, but they're actually both connected on the inside and kind of have their own space. I just wanted to have an entrance for each of them if somebody was coming quickly to get a book or just quickly to get a coffee. Uh, but the whole inside is supposed to kind of be both spaces. So there's books upstairs and seating spaces everywhere for your Sims to sit down and enjoy their coffee. But um, I, I just thought it made more sense to have the separate doors. Maybe the this building originally had separate spaces, but they put an archway on the inside to combine the areas as this was going to be a business that made a lot of sense to have, uh, you know, that combined space. Anyway, I'm using a lot of these rounded roofs here to kind of emphasize different parts of the building. I really liked how that looked upstairs with that rounded window. And then over here, this is for the entrance to the bookstore. I thought it looked really nice to put the sign up there and it just really shows, hey, this is another space, not just a side door to the rest of the building. So that is what I went with there. And then I'm just grabbing some stuff from Debug and looking for various items here. I decided to use some fencing on the side. That's actually some Debug fencing. You can see a larger version of it just off lot here. So I thought that this would match nicely. So we just have a little seating space outside. I don't imagine your Sims are probably using it this time of year because it's very snowy but it wouldn't just disappear. So I decided to have a couple of tables that are still out there. Most of the umbrellas are actually down at this point. These umbrellas are from my wedding stories. I think they are so cool because we have versions that are open and versions that are closed. And I love how the snow collected on these tables. Uh, so just placing some of those around and I end up putting a couple of chairs at one of the tables, but for the most part, I just stack up a bunch of chairs in the corner like they are temporarily being stored for the season. So this was a build I actually originally built over on Twitch. I do stream three days a week, most weeks, over on twitch.tv slash Griffey, where we build things in The Sims and kind of just hang out and work together on some builds. It's a really fun way to collaborate in this space. Uh, so if you would be interested, it is free to follow over there. It's a lot of fun and I would love to see you there. And speaking of which, tomorrow, the 16th of December, I am going to be live starting at noon EST, 12 p.m. EST, pretty much the whole day doing a birthday subathon, which is essentially we're just we're going to have a fun time and hang out uh, to celebrate my birthday, which is on the 17th this Saturday. And the length of the stream and the things that could happen during it all depend on uh, the amount of subs that are received in the stream. My chat over there really likes when we do these sorts of things. So I thought it would be fun 
Uh, so I might, you know, drink some hot sauce or build some highly requested builds that I really don't want to do. Uh, so it should be a fun time. If you'd like to join us, like I said, I will be live at 12 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow, December 16th, and I will have a link to that down below. So yeah, feel free to join us if you would like to. But anyway, we are inside now and I'm trying to figure out the floor plan. So placing down a couple of items here and there as well as grabbing some windows and bookcases. I figured out where the stairs were going to go and I really like that area, how you can sort of look downstairs and I wanted to make sure to have some comfy couches in this space as well. Over here is actually not going to stay like that at all. I ended up putting the bathrooms over there because for a long time, I wasn't thinking about the fact that this space probably needed bathrooms. Uh, so I just didn't think about it at all and I'm glad I realized before I decorated that whole space. So there ends up being two bathrooms over here. They're both uh, for any Sims to use. They are gender neutral bathrooms, but I just put two of them in case you have more than one Sim that needs to use the restroom. So uh, that is how that space is going to look. And then my chat demanded that I add a woohoo location. So I put a closet over here as well. So if your Sims are visiting here on a date and they need to do some woohooing, maybe you're playing the 100 baby challenge, you have a spot to do that. And then I'm just getting some tables and chairs up here as well for your Sims to relax at with their coffee and their book. It just sounds so peaceful and nice. I really want to do that sometime. I feel like I never have time to read anymore. It's been so long since I've read anything. And I think I'm going to be putting that on my like list of things I want to do more of in the new year is actually prioritize reading because there's so many books I've bought and I just I don't have time to do it. I don't have time to read. I don't have time to watch anything lately. I feel like I'm always so busy. Uh, so this just sounds so lovely and I really liked how I did sort of a mismatched vibe up here where all of the tables are the same but we have a mixture of chairs at all of the tables. I also made sure to put lots of clutter around of these coffee cups which of course came with the everyday clutter kit. They were perfect for this space as were these mason jar lights and I just wanted to make sure we got some blinds up on the windows as well. Uh, using a lot of green, brown, and black in here. One of my favorite color schemes. And I thought that this window up here would be perfect for a big Christmas tree. We have a mini one downstairs as well. I just tried to decorate the space, but like not too overly decorated. There's just some Christmas throughout. But I feel like this space, you could easily get rid of the de decorations for the holiday and it would still be very functional and it wouldn't feel like there was a bunch of empty spaces either because I thought it looked fine where I put the tables before I put the Christmas tree there. I wasn't actually originally intending for it to be there. It just happened to fit really nicely. So I was quite happy with that. The thing I was most excited about in this space though is that I remembered that this one decal existed from the industrial loft kit that has like a teacup or a coffee cup on it. And I thought it would be perfect over here on this wall heading up the stairs. We had this empty spot that I wasn't really sure what to do with. I didn't want to put more windows there. And I just think it is the absolute perfect item for that space. Uh, I also got another cozy rug up here and a couple of paintings on the wall that are just like some older paintings from Windenburg. I thought that that made sense for this space. I also grabbed this poster from Cool Kitchen that's a coffee mug with a like heart coming out of it and I rotated this other frame. I think this one's from Get to Work that has like little lights around it and I just thought that that was a cute way to show that off in that space and then we're downstairs working on the spot where you actually go to the barista and get whatever sort of drink you want whatever pastries you want so I'm just figuring out this space we get some counters in the back and lots of decor I wanted to have as much like coffee related items as I could uh, but also just make it really cozy in this space also tea lots of tea uh, so I have like a couple of menus around the space. I got this big tea cabinet from Snowy Escape and I think that looks so cute over there. I also have the smaller one up above the barista area. We have some baked goods. I believe I add a sink back here. I thought about changing the colors of some of the like espresso machine stuff, but I don't think I did in the end, but I did get a regular coffee pot back here. I'm pretty sure. So if your Sims want that, uh, they can have that, although it might be really annoying in gameplay if your Sims just decide to walk behind the counter and get a coffee there instead. Or maybe I didn't add it. I was pretty sure I did. Um, but they also might go back there and just decide they want a drink of water. So maybe you would want to fence that area off so only employees could go over there. But anyway, I am adding a couple of Christmas decorations now. I have these Christmas cards I put up above the baked goods. There's a little menu there as well. 
I think it looks so cute and I should be getting some wreaths and garland up above the menus uh, just for a little bit more decoration. And here's that coffee pot I was talking about before. I think it looks fine, but it's probably going to be very annoying <laughs> in gameplay. So you might want to delete that. I didn't think about that when I was decorating this space. I just thought it would look nice to have like more stuff in the background. So that was the idea there. Oh, and then so these are olive oils, but we were imagining these were like the various like syrups and stuff for coffee. Um, my chat was joking that all four of them are pumpkin spice, which I wouldn't be surprised. I know that's a really popular flavor. I personally am not a coffee drinker or a pumpkin spice person, so I don't fully understand, but I know it's super popular. And regardless, I thought it would look nice to have like some sort of syrups back there. So that's what I was imagining those were. I also got a little fence here to kind of represent where a line could start. And uh, so I'm just trying to figure out which fence I want to use for that. And then there ends up being a couple of tables in here, but not that many. I also have that like little freezer section if you wanted to have any other like foods for sale. If you decide to run this as more of a retail lot, you could put baked goods and stuff in here as well as books. Uh, so there's a lot of different ways you could run this. I could also see you maybe adding some space upstairs, renovating it so that there's like livable space because I know a lot of time in gameplay, many of us, when we're running some sort of lot, it's easier to have like a place for your Sims to actually sleep and sort of live off the lot. Technically they can't, but they can like never go home. That's an option. Uh, so if you decide to run it as a retail shop, that could work that way. But I kind of was imagining this as more of a cafe. You just have your Sims come to visit instead of run and operate. So that was my idea there. And then outside, I just wanted to have a menu out there as well. And I added one of these decals just for a little bit more texture on the space, which I thought looked quite nice. Uh, I believe most of the rest is just going to be little decorations throughout to kind of finalize the spaces because we have everything basically laid out how I want it other than the bookstore. Yeah, the, the other side is not done, but a lot of what I wanted to do in the cafe portion is, so there is the wreath and all of the garland up there, just making sure the trash can looks okay. I believe I get a rug up here as well, uh, just to add a little bit more color and detail. And I also love to add plants everywhere. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a plant over there in the corner. Oh yeah, it's the mini Christmas tree. I was like, we're, I know we're getting a plant. It's, it's a Christmas tree, of course it is. Uh, and just getting some garland with some candles as well. I think this space looks super cute. And I was kind of imagining that area was the space where you would go and like add sugar or cinnamon or something to your coffee or your tea or your hot chocolate. But we don't really have that in the game. So I just added some cute decor over there. Uh, but we're finally working on the bookstore side now. So I'm just creating a little counter for a cast register over here. And I put the book cart from, I think that's from Get Together in here. And I also wanted to put some chairs. That is not how they end up being laid out in the end though, because I decided to go with these bookshelves, which came with high school years that are meant for the library and the school. And I just love how they tile together like this. So I wanted this space to be kind of crammed. Like they tried to fit as many books as possible into a very small space. And I think it just makes the space feel so much more cozy. And so I was I was quite happy with that decision. So you'll see me trying to fit as many as I can in here and then putting some chairs on the ends of some of these bookcases and uh, getting some posters on the walls and various other decor that screams this is a bookstore. I also end up getting this one decal on the wall I should be grabbing here shortly that has some text on it and an arrow pointing to the other room. And I thought it was so perfect to be like the the cafe is that way. Go over there. Yeah, this one. That looks so cute, doesn't it? I was really excited about that. I just really love the concept of this being a combined lot where you can do both things. I really wish The Sims would add that functionality to the game where you could have multi-lot functions, but unfortunately we don't have that at the time of recording. Maybe someday. I don't know if it's something they're looking into or not, but I still think the concept of this is really cute and for the most part it works because you can just have your Sim uh, come here and get a coffee from the barista and then you can just pick out a book from the bookshelf and read it. So for gameplay for the most part it works out so I, I wasn't too upset about that. Uh, then just getting some more clutter over here by the register and some posters between the bookcases 
I made sure to have like a pile of books by the register as well as like bags, maybe the people that work there, that's where they keep their stuff. And I added a couple more chairs over here as well. Uh, so I think the bookstore space came out really cute. It's really small, especially compared to the cafe, but I thought it was fine because there's additional bookcases upstairs and more seating. So it's like kind of combined in both areas, uh, but the primary bookstore area is in that smaller side of the lot. Uh, so yeah, just working on the bathrooms now upstairs. They're pretty much the same on both sides. We have a little dresser in the corner, a toilet and a sink, uh, some paper towel dispensers. I kept them fairly simple, but I think they look nice. I tend to do bathrooms like this instead of using the bathroom stalls that we got with, did they originally come with Discover University? I think they did uh, because they take up so much space. So I often can't fit them, but I think that this area looks quite nice. I, I was pretty happy with it. Uh, but anyway, we're heading on outside now to do some landscaping. Obviously it's snowing, so it's kind of hard to see what we're doing. So I start this way, but we should be transitioning into just the regular um, like build by mode from the world select menu so we can do the landscaping where I can actually see what we're doing. Because right now I'm putting trees on top of concrete, which makes no sense, uh, but I can't see the concrete. So, you know, <laughs> once the snow is gone, it'll be a little bit easier. But I did want most of the space to stay concrete and have uh, just like some sections to put various landscaping items in. So it made more sense with this downtown area because that's kind of how it is. There's like sections that are cut off meant for greenery, whereas the rest of the space is very much a commercial area. So I definitely wanted to keep that up. So we should be changing this soon. I also wanted to make sure we had like a dumpster and stuff outside, just like some typical things you would expect to see here. And then I got some vines over there on that wall just to add a little bit extra detail and kind of cover how flat and unexciting that space was. And now I'm just kind of staring at it, trying to figure out what else we need. And somebody in chat had suggested we put some bikes out here. So I thought that, that was a cute idea. Uh, so I did that and we should be, yeah, we're popping out of the snowy time and realizing we needed to paint the roof because that's another thing you really can't see when it is snowing in the game. Uh, we hadn't painted the roof at all. So just getting some pathways here and then I should be getting some plants and terrain paint in these planters. And that's really it for this build. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so very much for watching. Enjoy those screenshots and uh, maybe join us on Twitch tomorrow, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.